Welcome everybody to Brockton High Basketball. This is Miles Jackson along with Chris Bazil here at Staff Gymnasium. And tonight we've got the Lady Boxers going up against the Dartmouth girls from Dartmouth, Massachusetts. And Chris, the Lady Boxers, they come in here with five wins and three losses, one and one in their conference. How are they looking so far this season? Yeah, um, yeah, they look pretty de well. Five and three record, not bad. One and one in the conference. Yeah, they're coming off a a stunning loss against New Bedford, their last game in New Bedford. E and yeah, they they've won some. They've won. They've been in a lot of close games. And let's see how this game turns out for them. Yeah, that was a tough loss for the Lady Boxers going up against the uh, Lady Whalers just the other night. But uh, hopefully they can put that um, out of their head and come in here and play a real tough um, basketball game against these. Uh, Lady Dartmouth varsity girls. Yeah, the, this Dartmouth team is very good. Six and one on the season so far. So let's see. So it should be an entertaining game, actually. So Dartmouth High in their all green uniform. Brockton's in their all white uniforms this evening. And we're getting ready for the tip off. And it looks like it's going to be Rebecca Tannis in the middle tipping off against number 44, Lindsay Oliverio. Oliveira, excuse me. And Brockton wins the tip. Of course, we got one, both for the Williams sisters are out there, and the first shot is taken by number 22. Yeah, Alexandra yeah. Williams. Yes. Yeah, it'll be, yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting matchup. Alexandra Williams against this Dark Misses defense, so it'll be great to see that. It'll be great. Yes, and Dartmouth's going to win that one. As Elizabeth Williams was in there, but lost the, lost the um, ball on the re on the um, out, out of bounds there. Long three is no good. Williams with the rebound, throws it up quickly. Tough shot, just missed. And they're gonna call a jump ball. That was uh, Angel Angelina Fernandez that threw up that tough shot. Tough shot, and it, was all, it almost went in, Chris. Yeah, it almost went in. It was actually, it was, um, it was a good, it was a good shot by Angelina Fernandez. We got a. As we have a little stoppage in the game right now. I tell you, the, def the defensive um, person on that play was all over Angeline, and somehow she got that shot off. Yeah. Yeah, I like the matchup of Rebecca Tannis versus Lindsay Oliveira. Lindsay Oliveira is one of the leading scorers for Dartmouth, and Rebecca Tannis, uh, an anchor on defense. So that's, so that's another matchup to see. Yeah, I remember her last year, Tannis. Tough competitor from Dartmouth. In the corner. Back out top, long three is no good. And Brockton comes out of there with the rebound. Rebecca Tannis. Shot is good by Williams. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice offensive setup but between the Williams sisters, yep. Elizabeth and Alexandra. And that was Elizabeth that made the three. Five nothing boxes. Dartmouth works around, then goes inside, and they're going to call a foul. The Dartmouth guard, number four, Casey Oliver. A little bit out of control, but she was in control enough for the referee to call a foul. First free throw is missed. Yeah, Casey Oliver. She's a sophomore and the lead, and the starting point guard for this for these dark miss, for these dark miss Indians. Yeah, she already she already looks like an impactful player already. So and she's gonna continue. She's gonna continue to play hard. She's already running around, pacing herself. Oh, nice little assist there now, wow, by number good. eleven with the nice assist, Nelani Montero. Took in the air and just dished it right off to her teammate, Fernandez. And they're going to call travel. Yeah, smart basketball between Nailani Montero and Angelina Fernandez. That's the way to keep the play alive, Nailani. Okay. 
Drives to the basket, no good, but there's an offensive boards. And out comes Dartmouth. Oh, almost like a travel, but no call. And out of there comes uh, Elizabeth Williams. Long three. Good! Wow. From downtown. What a shot by Elizabeth Williams. That was, that was NBA range shot. Yeah, that's her second three in this quarter. What a little shot. Brockton playing man-to-man -man defense. Oh, it looks like a, they're playing a zone. And out come the boxes. Williams out top. Take it again. Air ball oh, oh, this that, time. Oh, that, that time she air balls. Yeah, the lady boxes with an early and commanding 10 to 1 lead. That's that's what you have to do against a, a division rival that has that has a much better has a better record. Long lollipop shot is no good. Rebound Fernandez. Back come the boxes with 438 on, on the clock. William drives in the paint. Tough D tries to get nice. it in. Good. Yeah, that's Alexandra Williams still scoring on the tenacious defense by Cassidy, by Casey Oliver. Good play by Alexandra Williams to still score. Fernandez with the rebound. Gets it to Williams. Back on the boxes again. Williams showing her dribbling skills. And a shot is missed. And they're going to call a foul on Williams yeah, there. Yeah, reaching foul. Alexandria. Alexandra. So it'll be taken out on the side. Yeah. Nice defense, and Brockton comes out of there with the ball. Williams goes to the basket. It's up and in. Nice. Nice defense by the boxers, which created that those two points right there. Good, good defense by number five. Uh, Kinari King. Kinari King, thank you. Yeah, coast, coast to coast basketball for Alexandra Williams. That, that's, that's her talent. That's what she's best at, and she's doing a good job so far with, with already six points. Head coach first year, Morgan Thatcher who was a great athlete here at Brockton High a few years back, but Morgan's doing a good job with these uh, lady boxers. Again, coming in here five and three. Yeah, yeah, good job, a good job as um, a good job as a first season as a exactly. as a lady boxer coach. Yeah, let's see, let's see where she'll take her team around the playoffs. They should be, they should be, they should qualify for the playoffs. They're, they have the talent and they're good enough. And let's see how they fare for the rest of the season. Yeah, and obviously Morgan Thatcher won um, Gatorade State Women's Player of the Year for volleyball, as we, as we have right there. Yeah, if you if you brought if you brought the high, you got to box out. That was a certified rebound right there. And they're gonna call a foul. And, Dark, and Dartmouth receives the foul as well. Yeah, so that, that was Williams with the body. And if you ask me, that was a little ticky tack foul. Wasn't a lot of contact. Oh, oh stolen wow. by Williams. Picked her pocket, 
Goes up hard, and Ooh. she's fouled. Yeah, you, you said the word pickpocket. That's what it was. It was clean, too. Yeah, Alexandra will get two free throws. Great defense. Yeah, Alexandra was just an all-around fine player. Just a terrific basketball player. Yep, and she's a junior. Actually, she's a sophomore. Yes, a, yes, um, yep, just a sophomore. 2022, that's, she's a, she'll graduate then. Well, she's a sophomore, showing her skills. Her sister Elizabeth, she's a senior. Brockton playing some good defense. Keeping the hands up, shot is good. Good penetration and passing by Dartmouth Indians. Yeah, that was number 12, Ashlyn Silva on the layup. Stop and pop is partially blocked, but the rebound is Brockton's. And it'll still stay Brockton, so good fight underneath by the Lady Boxes, especially Rebecca Tannis. Mixing it up right there in the paint. Yeah, the Lady Boxes got 14 to shoot here. Inbound pass to Williams, missed off the glass. Yeah, if you had Alexandra Williams, you could have let you could have let the offense settle down a bit, and instead of taking that shot, I and bet Morgan Thatcher wasn't happy about that shot. Yeah, nice hustle by Nelani Montero, as she hustled and hit the ground, but was fouled. With 2:16 left in this first quarter, cross court shot off the glass, no good. Tannis, it's in, but they're gonna call at the top of the rim. I mean, top of the. Uh, backboard so it will nelegate that basket right there but nice hustle by the boxes. Canary King takes it. Nelani in the paint. Back outside. And I'm not sure what they called there. Must I believe it was an off the ball foul. Yeah, the, uh, the, um, the coach, Morgan Thatcher, is looking for an explanation. I don't think it was a foul, but it oh, made okay. three seconds. Three, se oh, three in the key, okay. Yeah, three seconds. Yeah, Alexandra Williams actually had Angelina Fernandez open by the, by the key. I guess she didn't see her. And they're going to call a foul on Fernandez. Number 10 for the boxes. Fernandez, a senior. Let's go. And she's progressed nicely over the years. Yeah, she has progressed nicely over the years. She became a, a, just a, a better basketball player as, as she developed. And they're going to call. Oh, nice defense on Fernandez. And it's dark. Lady uh, Indians lose the ball. Yeah, she... Yeah, she's an all she's an all-around player, defense and offense. Angelina Fernandez, number ten. Yeah, her sister was a great lady boxer years back. In the paint, stolen by the Lady Indians, and here comes Dartmouth. Oh wow! And stolen by Williams. She looks up, throws a long pass, ill-advised, and is stolen back by Dartmouth. Long two, no good. She gets her own rebound. And up top with a two is just in and out. And Neilani gets the uh, rebound and back come the boxes with Williams with the ball. Long bomb is no good. Back up, no good. Tannis up. Shot is blocked and it'll be a jump ball. Oh, Casey Oliver, number four, as I said, for the Dartmouth Indians. Wow, she's just playing She's playing her hard early in this game, huh? I, I, I would expect it being down 13 points. Yeah, good hustle by the um, Lady Indian, Casey Oliver, going up against um, Brockton Center, Tannis. Okay. 
28 seconds on the clock, and there's a foul. And Rebecca Tannis will go to the free throw line. Nice feed to the Lady Boxer center. Yeah, that was Nailani Montero by the, on the feed. And in for the boxes is Malaysia Dingle, number 12, who has a chance here with 26 seconds to go in the first quarter. Second shot is good. Finds an opening and is fouled, and the shot is good. She took the opening, and Casey Oliver, sophomore guard, drives into the paint. And she'll go to the free throw line. Chance for a three-point play. Yes. Ten seconds left on the clock, and the shot is good. So three-point play. Shot thrown up, no good. Dartmouth comes out of there with the ball, and the buzzer sounds to the end of the first quarter. Would you see it on your score? Brockton in command right now, 17 to six. And Chris, I, I like the way Morgan Thatcher has the Lady Boxers playing defense because a lot of their points were um, manufactured off that great defensive stand out there. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, yeah. Just what I was about to say. Defense sets up offense. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta prevent the points to score the points to win the game. And the Lady Boxers are doing a terrific job of doing that, shutting down the six and one Dartmouth Indian team to only six points. Yeah, just great defense, on-ball defense by, by Rebecca Tannis, Alexandra Williams, and Kinari King. Those, those three are kind of certifying themselves. And also Angelina Fernandez. So great defensive pl playmaking yeah. by those players. And the outside shooting of, uh, I believe, one of the Williams sisters, I think it's Alexandra. Elizabeth, actually. Elizabeth, yes. Yeah, she's hit a couple of threes out there. has really helped the, um, the score here. That's six points right there. So good job by... Um, Elizabeth Williams on the three-point shots. Yeah, this Lady Boxer team, they have, they have, they have fine offensive players as well, and they're gonna, we're, we're going to need to see it from them. And this, I, I, you, could, you, could, you could sense a comeback from the Dartmouth Indians. I felt, I felt as though they weren't as comfortable enough with the game. Right, I'm sure they'll settle down here. I mean, they didn't come in here 5-1 uh, and one for nothing. Exactly, yes. 6-1. Six 6-1, and one. Six and one, yes. I like this matchup right here, Kinari King on Kinari King on Casey Oliver. I like that matchup. Yeah, yeah. Two hustle, two hustle point guards, two strong point guards as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what they call, but uh, Casey Oliver has some dribbling skills. Yeah, she's a very fast-paced player, just like Kinari King. Back out top to King, cross court. Inside. Yeah. Eight seconds on the shot clock. The Indians in a 2-3 zone. Long three is no good. Rebound Williams. Fresh 30. Get to Tananis. Williams. King not shot is missed, and they're going to call a timeout. So Dartmouth will have the ball after this timeout. Yeah, yeah that's four. That's four timeouts left for the Dartmouth. I'll actually make that three timeouts left for the Dartmouth Indians. Yeah, that was great ball movement by the Lady Boxers. Great ball movement, and um, but it's just good defense by the Lady Indians. Exactly. So um, 6:48 on the clock here early on in this second period. Excuse me, second quarter. You see the score. This is BCA Sports among Miles Jackson along with Chris Bazil here at Staff Gymnasium. 
with the Lady Boxers. Yeah, Miles, I feel as though this game's gonna get down to the wire, to the fourth quarter. It's gonna it's gonna be another should be should be an entertaining basketball game. Should go go down to, to the last minute. Let's see. Let's see if that if let's see if that'll happen. So the Lady Indians will take it out from the opposite end of the court. Here we go. Wow. Stolen by Fernandez. Nice job. Shot no good. And I didn't see who put that in. It was actually Nailani Montero, number 11, yeah, with the putback. She, yeah, she did push, position herself nicely in the paint. Wow, and nice. the shot is blocked. Nice block by Williams. Oh, Dangle. Uh, I think they call a foul. And they're gonna call it on Fernandez. Okay, this is number 11, Audrey Morin in the line. She'll miss the first one. And she makes her second free throw. Yeah, Nay yeah, Lonnie Montero was pressured on the defense there as she threw the ball away. Lady Indians have it out top. That's Audrey inside, and they're gonna call a foul. No, it's, no, it's Lindsey Oliver, number 44, to the line. And they're gonna call it on Neilani Montero. And Brockton's gonna have a couple of subs come in. So Tannis and Desiree Almeida a senior will come in for the boxes. Second free throw attempt is good. 19 to eight. Inside to Tannis and stolen oh. by the quick guard. Ooh, ooh. And they're gonna call a foul. Yeah, that's gonna be on Rebecca Tennis. Tennis. It, was no, a it wasn't on, it, they're gonna call it on four. Oh, okay, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, Tanner's got away with the foul. Oh. They're gonna call it on uh, Desiree Almeida. Morin makes her second free throw attempt. They're down by 10. 5.34 on the clock. Yeah, the Indians, and the, yeah, the Indians 2-3 zone is really working against the Lady Boxers. Long J is no good by uh, King. And King makes it up by stealing the b ball down court. Here come the Lady Boxers. Williams, oh. stolen back, but Bachton gets it back. Long three is no good off the top of the um, rim, so it'll be Lady Indians basketball, but nice hustle by the boxes. Yeah, the Indians are doing a great job on the 2-3 zone. That's, that was sort of the answer to, 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 to impede the Lady Boxers a bit. Ooh. 
Nice move and blows the shot. Golden opportunity there by Sylvia. Found an opening, just about strolled right in and missed the uh, easy layup. But she goes to the free throw line for two shots. She makes her first free throw attempt, 19 to 10. She's two, two for two on the free throws. Indians down by eight. Shot is put up by number 12, Dingle, miss. Alba brings it close to go, dishes it off nicely. That was an excellent job of breaking the trap yeah, for Casey, Casey Oliver. Oliver. Yeah, she did a nice job with her dribbling skills. Long three is in and out. Dingle. Gets it over there across court, and they're going to call three seconds. 4-12 on the clock here in the second period. Wow, the Diamonds. The Diamond Indians really reduced the deficit to six points. They're doing a great job right now. The Lady Boxers have to fire back at them. And they're going to call hand checking on number five, Canary King. So, Dartmouth getting a lot of attempts here at the free throw line. And the lead is cut to five with 4.05 on the clock. Down to four. And they're gonna call oh. a travel on Isadora Amazon. Yeah, the lady boxes really fell apart a bit. They gotta, they gotta really divide. They really gotta come up with a come up with a way to score some points and, and stop this Dartmouth offense. This Dartmouth offense has been lights out lately. Yeah, the lady boxes have gotten cold because of the Dartmouth's great defense, and they're gonna call a foul on uh, Canary King, Kinari King. Yeah, Diamond is going straight to the line because Brockton is above the penalty. They're above five fouls for the ha seven fouls for the half. They have ten fouls in this half. Yeah, Diamond has only committed only three fouls to Brockton. Yeah, nice free throw shooting by the Lady Indians. Ashlyn Sylvia. King with the ball at the top, dishes it inside to Williams. Two seconds left on the shot clock. Long bomb is no good. Rebound by Tannis, but she couldn't finish it. King gets it back. Long three. Air ball. Yeah, the Diamond Sanders are doing a great job of um Negating Brockton High's best players. That's what they're doing. They're negating Kinari King, Alexandra Williams, and Elizabeth Williams. Those are the, the top three players. They're doing a great job of that. And that's how, that's how they find themselves only down two. Yeah, Alexandra is back in the ball game. 2.48 on the clock. Ooh, wow, that was a ticky-tack foul. 
I can't believe it. Referees aren't letting the lady boxers play. Yeah, man, yeah. Ten fouls. Ten fouls to three, yeah. It's a, it's a, big, yeah. It's a big margin. Lopsided margin here as the referees aren't, are not getting the, giving the lady boxers any break on defense. I didn't see much of a foul there. Tanners comes out of there with 2.39 on the clock. Williams. Inside to Tannis. Outside. Dingle. No good. That would have been big for the boxers, but just for their confidence. Back come the Lady Indians. And nice defense by the Williams sisters. Inside, outside. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Dishes off to a sister. She gets it up and she is fouled. So with one minute 46 seconds on the clock, Alexandra will go to the free throw line, the sophomore. Yeah, that's a that's a great way to that's a great way to, to shut down the spell that the Dartmouth Indians was really doing to Brockton. Well, it would have been great. I could have used the word great if she would have made the shot in a three-point play attempt, but hopefully she can get something out of this. She misses her first free throw attempt. Yeah, you need to yeah, try to come over with a basket. Tannis with the offensive rebound. Gets it back out to Williams. Williams turns. Inside the Tannis, little dish off to Williams. She lays it up and misses oh. the layup. Dingle comes out of there, dishes off to Williams and she oh. misses again. Puts it back up and misses again. Wow. Just not falling for the Lady Boxers in this second quarter. Dartmouth comes out of there with one minute and 11 seconds on the clock. Back out top. And they're gonna call travel with 59 seconds left in the second quarter. Boxers need a basket just to get their momentum back up, their confidence. Because they're right now in a scoring drought here in the second quarter. Right, Little floater. No good, rebound Williams. She's back oh. up and she is fouled. Can you be believe it, folks? They call the foul <laughs> on Dartmouth. <laughs> <laughs> and Alexandra will go to the free throw line to shoot two. And if any time they need a couple of um, baskets right here, they need them. Shot is good. 44 seconds left in this second quarter. This is Brockton Community Access Sports, bringing you the best in lady boxer basketball. Second free throw attempt is no good. And they're gonna call a foul oh. on number three, Elizabeth Williams. Yeah, that'll send, yeah, that'll send Dartmouth to the line. You know, I, I, I don't know, I, I didn't see much there. There yeah. was some contact. Yeah, I didn't see much there either. I'm a little tiny bit of contact, but gee. The referees are really putting the Lady Indians in a good position here in the second quarter. Box is up by two with 43 seconds to go. In and out, Tannis. Williams with the ball, spins. Stop and pop, and she is fouled. 
That was uh, Desiree Almeida. And she'll go to the free throw line, and we'll see what Desiree can do. Yeah, let's see if she's cashing on these two free throws. First yeah, one. Yeah, Desiree Almeida, she's a pretty good three-point shooter. Um, yeah, she she made it. She made it. Uh, she cashed in. She she pretty much solidified. She, she kind of solidified the Norwell game for the Lady Boxers. Desiree, a senior, second shot is in and out. Tough break right there for Desiree and the Lady Boxers. And here comes Dartmouth. Trap. Oh wow! And it'll be Dartmouth's ball. Yeah, that was great defense by Malaysia Dingle, number 12. She's, she's had a pretty active half so far. She's, she's playing pretty good. Shot is good. That was number 12, Sylvia. Seven seconds on the clock. Williams with the ball. She's going to take the three or is she going to? Yes, she does. Oh. And it's an air ball. And we're going to look at that um, on the replay, that last foul call underneath on Williams. Let's see. Oh, Bear oh my God. Mm. I don't believe it. See, they've been calling Ticky. Now, that was Ticky Tack. Mm. Yeah. Somebody hand me a Tick Tack. <laughs> Man. All right, so know. second quarter is over. This That's the end of the first half. And, uh, Chris, tell me what you've seen in so far. Man, what I've seen is that the Lady Boxers only scored three points in the quarter. That's pretty bad, three points. The 2-3 zone really worked for the Dartmouth Indians. They did a great job. Um, yeah, yeah, like I said, they're, they're negating the best players. Eliz Alexandra Williams scored little. Elizabeth Williams, she's, she's, her, head, her head is not in the game as much. Kinari King, she's a little upset. Yeah, and they're actually getting clean looks. They're, they had some clean shot attempts at the Lady Boxes, but they were, they were really just missing. They really just couldn't convert. But they did a great job. The Dartmouth Indians did a great job. Especially oh. Casey Oliver, yeah. Okay, so there you have it. We'll be back for second half action in a moment. Welcome back, everybody, to Brockton High Basketball. We got the Lady Boxers here tonight in a tough one. It's a 2020 tie here at the half. And basically, the Lady Boxers have gone cold in that second quarter. And hopefully, they can heat it back up because they were up by quite a number of points. But... Uh, Dartmouth somehow clawed their way back in this basketball game, Chris. And uh, I'm looking for exciting, tough, competitive game by both teams in this second half. Yeah, it should be exciting and tough. And the Dartmouth off the Dartmouth Indians offense has been playing spectacular. And and look and look and look what we have. They are not going to stop their two three zone. Yeah, the so Brockton has to find the answer to it. Yeah, the Lady Indians have taken advantage of what uh, the boxes have given them. Underneath, Lady Box is stolen out of there by number four, Casey Oliver, who's been a thorn in the Box's side in that second quarter. Yeah, she has certainly been a thorn against, against the Boxes. Great dribbler. Good point guard for the uh, Dartmouth Indians. Box is playing that 2 3 zone. And underneath, and well, in. Nice, nice play by the uh, Lady Indians. Broke the zone and got it inside for an easy two. Long three, no good. Back come the Indians. And they missed the top, but they get their uh, offensive rebound. Back out top. Oliver. Inside, no good. And here comes Williams. Ooh, nice nice move. move. Wow. Lays it up and in. That was nice. Nice move by number 22, Alexandra. Nice, awesome, uh, nice offensive skill set the, the Williams sister has. Oh, wow. And they're going to call a foul. And they're going to call out, I believe, on Tannis. Oliver, a little bit out of control. We went for the shot. Mm. 
and the first free throw is missed. Yeah, the lady boxers, they need a surge. They really Yeah, it'll it'll stay it'll, it'll stay the possession of the boxers. They they really need a surge. They really need to get something going. Oh wow. And not a good pass by um Elizabeth. Yeah, it was Williams. a bit it was a bit uncatchable for um for those two Tannis, players, Tennis yeah. and um the other, other player. Boxer. Yeah. Here comes Dartmouth. Oliver. Oh wow, man! And they're gonna call a foul, but again, wow! I didn't see much contact. It may, if, if anything, a trip, but. Casey Oliver is hurt. Casey going out of control again for the second time inside and got the call and injured her left wrist, it looks like, a mm. little bit. Hopefully she's okay. Maybe her right wrist. Very quick guard. Box is down by... Excuse me, boxes up by one. Nope, they're down by one on, on our scoreboard. It's 24-22, Dartmouth with 6.13 on the clock. And Dartmouth almost had it, but they lost it. Well, boxes down by two with 6.09 on the clock. Yeah. Inside to Fernandez, she lays it up. Oh in wow! And out. Wow! Still, boxers just can't buy a basket. Yeah, wow. That went in and out. Long bomb is good. Wow. Number forty-four. That was Lindsey Oliveira for the three. Who plays center makes the big three. Inside to Tannis. She misses wow. the easy two. Yeah, the lady boxes are actually missing easy baskets. Some of them, some of them are just being unlucky, and some of them are just not, not enough, not, not the correct shot. If, if that's correct. Well, basically, they're, they're just not falling in. Not like, falling right in, there. Yeah. That was, just wasn't off the backboard enough. Not strong enough. Tannis got to get it off strong. Yeah. Off the boards. Shot is good inside there. Nice little jumper by Ferriera. And the boxers call a needed timeout with 5.14 on the clock. And they're down by seven points at the moment. And basically because of um, their shots still aren't falling. Yeah, the shots are not falling. And, and their defense hasn't quite and their defense hasn't quite found an answer for Dartmouth. Dartmouth has a very speedy offense, a very skilled yeah, offense yeah, led by skilled. Casey Oliver. Yeah, and they're just yeah, they're they're a um a great subset of players, these Dartmouth Indians. Yeah. Well, I think in this third quarter still the referees aren't letting um the boxers play defense. I mean any little touch they they they're blowing that whistle so quickly. Um it, it's just hard to 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 get your momentum back when every time um the lady um Indians come down, drive to the basket, there's a whistle. I was shocked they didn't call that third time that uh, lady that um, Oliver drove into the basket and they didn't call a foul or something, but uh, it's just been a tough night for the uh, on the defensive end for the Lady Boxers, and we already know about the offensive end. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a, yeah, that's, a, that's another that's another thing. They have to play by the officials, and the, and and if the officials are making a little bit too much calls, you gotta you gotta respect you gotta you kind of gotta respect their what they're doing, and, right? And be a little bit and be me be a little bit more lenient. And, and, yeah, and, and the games are getting and the game is getting to their heads a bit. I, I can yeah. see it in them. So Brockton will take it out. Again, 5-14 left in his third quarter. Williams with the basketball. Over to his sister. Cross inside, inside to Tannis. She makes it in. Finally, Tannis gets one, gets an easy one underneath. Good passing there. Wow, that's the first lady, ba lady boxer basket in about 15 minutes of play. Wow, they really needed it. 
Oliver. Long bomb in off the rim, but Lady Indians get the uh, basket. Oh, nice fat block by Fernandez. Good defense by the Lady Boxers there. Williams in the corner. Out top. Fernandez inside, takes a little stop and pop. Good. What a shot. Angelina Fernandez wide open in the mid range. Great shot, Fernandez. In the corner, Oliver. Ooh, nice strong move right there. By Lindsay Oliveira. Nothing you could do about that. Tannis inside, goes up strong and is fouled by Friera. Yeah, Rebecca Tennis, she's looking like the X Factor right now for the Lady Boxers. She's been, she's been the more, she's been the more, um, she's been a bit of the catalyst of the player that's been that's been in the spotlight for some of the plays. They're gonna need her on defense. Well, she is the X Factor when it comes to rebounds. She has to. Throw, a, throw her weight around there underneath the basket and go up strong to get offensive rebounds as well as defensive rebounds. You'll see it right here. Nice pass inside. She goes up strong and gets the foul. And it's a 31-28 boxer. And I think the lady boxer was shocked they didn't blow a whistle. They come back. Williams up top. Long three, no good. And out of there comes the Lady Indians. Shot is missed. Tannis gets in there and gets the rebound. Nice positioning by the center for the Lady Boxes. Still down by three which they've kind of clawed their way back here in the third quarter. Williams. Montero gets it back to Williams. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Fernandez stops and pops. Good! Nice shot. Kind of rolls around the rim, but it counts. Box is down by one with 2.30 on the clock. Yeah, Angelina Fernandez showcasing her talents with six points in the game right now. Inside to the big man, shot is no good. Good positioning by the Lady Indians to get that rebound. They get it back up top. Long three, no good. And it'll be box of ball. Yeah, Angelina Fernandez, a bit of a hop to the right and rolls in, nice basket for her. Tannis gets a rest for the Lady Boxers and Canary King goes in for um, Tannis. So, Lady Boxers don't have their big center there. So they really have to, they're gonna have to follow their shots and really um, work hard on, on the boards. Inside to Williams. Oh, wow. Ooh. And they're gonna call a foul on uh, the Lady Indians. Yeah, the Lady Boxers are getting some fouls going their way, which is pretty good. Something they really need. 151 left in his third quarter. Floater, no good. She gets her own rebound. And it looked like she was hacked, but no call. That was uh, Montero, who shot the ball, got her own rebound. Oh, nice pass to Fernandez, and she puts it up and in. Nice inbound pass. A nice, a nice cut by Angelina Fernandez to get that point, to get those points. And nice defense by Fernandez. She's really come on strong. She's got six points within the last couple of minutes for the Lady Boxers, and they're up by one at the moment. 32-31, it shows on the scoreboard with 1.33 on the clock. Lady Boxers somehow have 
come back. They have. To take the lead. Long three is good. Nice shot. Wow. That was number 15, Lauren Valentine. Yeah, senior four. She comes in and makes the big shot from outside. 34-32, Dartmouth. Back out top, long three is in and wow. out. In and out, tough break for the Lady Boxes. And they come with a, Lady um, Indians come with a three on one and nice defense. Long bomb pass to her sister. She lays it up oh, and is fouled foul. underneath. Nice defense by number three, Elizabeth Williams. She gets the um, defensive rebound and throws it down to her sister with the long touchdown pass. And her sister, Alexandra, is at the free throw line to shoot two. Box is down by two with 50 seconds left in this third quarter. First free throw attempt is good. Referee calls a lane violation. So the, the shot doesn't count. So it's boxes 33, Indians 34. Let's go, let's go, Ooh, quick, quick pass up neat. And nice defensive play by Williams. That was Fernandez. By Fernandez. And back come the Williams sister, and they're gonna call traveling. Ooh. And the referees don't, I mean, excuse me, the fans don't like it. I don't either. I don't either. I didn't see the travel. And they're going to conversate right there. You'll see it. Let's see. Let's see it. Mm, that, that, looked, that, looked, that looked like only two steps to me. Yeah, that was two steps, right, not three. And, and the defense got their hands in there, so nice play by, um, well, nice defensive play, but way to go referees there to get that one right. Yeah, that, was a, that was the correct call by the re referees. Yes. So 30 seconds left in this third quarter. It's a tight game. Box is down by one. Shot is in and good in the paint. Elizabeth Williams. Elizabeth Williams doing a, doing a great job. Yep, backed in. And took the shot. Eight points today for her. Nice block by Elizabeth Williams. Yes. Nice block to close to end up the game. I think she to got close away. the quarter. Excuse me. I'd say I think she got away with a little body contact there, but why call it when you've been been bombarded with? Um, mm -hmm fouls early on in this in this game so yeah. boxes you see the score 35 34 and basically Chris boxes did a nice job clawing back into this basketball game yeah they, they really clawed their way back they had some foul calls that go their way some calls to go their way which is really good really essential as you see here this soak this nice. un unassumed travel but the, the referees thought well, well, no, that, that was a different play but that was a nice job um, Williams using her body in the paint, oh, yes. that spun was, around and just tossed it yeah. nicely and softly in, into the um, basket. Yeah, that was actually a great play by Elizabeth Williams. Yeah, the Lady Boxers are doing good. I mean, as I said, this game this game may go down to the final minute, and, it, and both of these teams are just doing a great job. This should be a, it's a great basketball game between two Southeast Conference rivals. They're showing what they could do, and this is this is this is the game for supremacy in the in the conference. They'll meet again again sometime later in the year in Dartmouth. So. So whoever try to try to so if you're the lady boxers try to claim your home court and exactly, try to win it. Exactly, exactly. You want to try to come out of here with a win on your own turf. Yeah, it's the fourth quarter. It's a pretty much a new round. In a one-point game. King 
And they're gonna call a foul on the Lady Indians there, number 10. Yeah, that was number 10, Aaron Good on the foul. And that was a good foul. That was a good foul. Smart, smart, smart whistle by the ref referee. She bumped Kinari King a bit. Out to Fernandez. Inside to Williams. She looks, spins. And it goes in and out. She gets her own rebound. And that was Alexandria in there for the rebound. And they're going to call a foul. Nice hustle by Alexandra, and she'll be rewarded with two free throws. She makes her second free throw attempt. Boxes up by three. Oh, nice, nice anticipation and steal by Alexandra Williams. Spins, looks. King takes the three. And she misses. Back come Dartmouth quickly. Ooh, nice move right there. And I, I can't believe that. That that was a mm. ticky tack foul again on Fernandez, mm. and she can't believe it is. She's like shaking her head. Oh my God! And that's uh, number twelve, Ashlyn Sylvia makes the first free throw attempt. This Dartmouth team, very good free throw shooters. And Fernandez is to come out with a rest. And Tannis comes in, who's gotten a good rest on the bench. And she makes both free throws, boxes up by one. 37-36. Williams inside to Tannis, but King saves the day. Inside to Williams, in and off nice. the glass, and in. Nice. Nice movement by the Lady Boxers there on that possession. Up by three. 6.48 to go in this ball game. Block, stolen by the Lady Boxers. Ahead to King. She oh, tried nice. to save it, oh. but it was out of bounds. Great idea, just a little bit too, too far, a little bit for King. Williams led her just a little bit too much, but nice idea. Great defense by the Lady Boxers. In the corner. Long bomb, no good. Montero comes out of there with it. And here come the Lady Boxers with Williams leading the way. Oh, she gets through the defense, puts it up and in! Nice. What a play by Williams. Dribble right through the defense. And they're gonna call, let's see this play yeah, right yeah, here. It was a nice play, Alexander Offen Williams. Yeah, offensive skills right here, folks. Switching hands, protecting the ball, laid up and in. Nice, nice use of, of the backboard glass as well. Yeah, and they called a foul on uh, Canary King. And that was a legit foul. There was some contact. In the corner, Ferreira. God, shot is good. Wow. Nice shot by Ferreira. She can hit that outside shot. Boxes up by two. Cross court to King. King gets in the paint, stops and pops, nice. and lays it off the, and puts it off the glass and in. Wow. Kinara King was waiting for a basket all day. She finally got it. A big shot right there by Kinari. In the corner. But she drives to the basket, and Williams comes out of there, gets it to her sister. Stops and pops. Off the glass, no good. And it was off King. Golden opportunity right there with that two on one break. And the referees are gonna stop the game for a second and discuss the time on the clock. 
It shows five minutes, 16 seconds to go. You see how much the box are up by four points. I only saw 517, that's all I can tell you, okay? So they're gonna put one second back on the clock. And the Lady Indians will have the ball. Corner. Cross court pass, quick shot, good. Nice shot. Nice movement by the Lady Indians there. Bring the deficit down to two. Long three by King is no Ooh. good. Almost. Stop and pop. Air ball, King gets the rebound. Here she comes with number four on her back. Yeah, Casey Oliver put, a, put too much of a body on her. And it was nice protection by King with the basketball. Yes, exactly, yes. She used her body to protect the ball and got the foul. Nice play by uh, Kanari King. 429 on the clock. Let's go, let's go. Little shovel pass in and out. They get it down quickly, Dartmouth. Fierro's deadly, and it's good. Big shot there again by the center for Dartmouth. And she has definitely been deadly here in this uh, fourth quarter. Yeah, Lindsay Oliver, Lindsay Oliver, one of the leading scorers for the Dartmouth Indians. Coming in, coming into this game, so she's going to be showcasing her game tonight. She's doing, a, she's, she's, playing, she's doing a great job. As we see here, a one-point game in the favor of the Indians, and this is a intriguing contest, intriguing contest yeah, so far. Yeah, the Lady Box is really playing some good defense, and finally some shots are starting to fall here in the, in the fourth quarter for them, um, and that's why they're back in this ball game. They slowly climb back in it in the third quarter, and they've just been playing good defense, but... Lady Dartmouth there, the Lady um, Indians been making some big shots when it seemed like boxers got them on the ropes. Yeah, exactly, yes. And um, they've come through. So that's why the uh, Lady Indians are up by one point with 4.08 on the clock. This is BCA Sports. I'm Miles Jackson along with Chris Bazil here at Staff Gymnasium this evening. Very exciting ball game. You know the rankings for these teams, um, Miles, for the, uh, on the state? No, to tell, you, tell you the truth, I don't really know what the rankings are for the um, Lady High School teams here in um, Eastern Mass. Okay. Inside the tennis, she lays it up and blocked. Actually, it was hit the rim. Nice try, nice pass inside by Williams. Good idea, but the boxers just could not capitalize. Man, that's been the story of the day for the Lady Boxers, just those missed opportunities and shots. Ex they, exactly. Something gotta, they got to work on for the remainder of the season. Exactly. Shot is missed, but she gets her own rebound. Shot is missed again. Rebound Tannis, but they're battling for it, and they're going to call a jump ball. And it'll be possession on Dartmouth. So Dartmouth will take it from underneath the basket with 3.28 on the clock. Tight knit ball game. Long bomb, no good. And Ooh. Lady Indians come out of there with the rebound. But I think I believe Nailani Montero was strangled a bit for that rebound. Just the referees didn't see it. Of course not. Shot no good, rebound. And they're gonna call a foul on Dartmouth as Williams battled for that ball and she got fouled on the arm. Good call by the refs. Good hustle and it's a one-on-one. -on -one. 
I'm shocked. It's one on one with 3.11 on, on the clock. So Elizabeth Williams will go to the free throw line and shoot a one on one. And uh, Elizabeth, she's a good free throw shooter. Hope I didn't jinx her, but uh, if you want somebody online, it's one of the Elizabeths, uh, one of the Williams sisters. Of course, yes. Well, she and of course, it. I jinxed her. Yes, she did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> so here come the Lady Indians back quickly. Oliver with the ball surveys the uh, defense in the paint. Shot is missed. Rebound, Williams. And here come the Lady Boxes. Shot, man, ooh, wow. wow. Off the glass and in. Man, wow, Alexandra Williams, man. She's just really carrying this Lady Boxer team on the back. Great job. Little dipsy doodle. Nice use of the pivot. And wow. Here, here she goes on the rebound. Gets it to her sister. And here, here they come, long three bomb. Good. Wow. One two punch by the Williams sisters. Timeout. Dartmouth with 2.22 on the clock. Box has got a four point lead right at the moment. That's certainly a one two punch. Certainly. So you'll see it here on the replay, folks. The long three sets. Th throws it down and in. Nice follow through, too. So, and, 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 and what forced, what got that play was defense. Yeah, I de mean, the boxers really had picked up their defense in this fourth quarter to um, put themselves in the position that you see on the screen. Yeah, the defense really picked up. They really answered, they really answered the defense. The, they really answered the, um, the Dartmouth's offense, what they were doing earlier in this game. The, the Dartmouth's offense was just, was lights out quick, quick uh, with, with good news of quickness. And yeah, the lady boxer, the lady boxer defense really, really figured it out. I'm really, I'm really happy to see it. Yeah, and I'm just nice, to, nice to see here in this uh, second half, the referees have calmed down and, and, and let the kids play. I mean, uh, there's been a few yeah. questionable fouls, but it was nothing like it was in the first half. So, um, and and that's why you see the score that you see there, 48-40, and the boxers finally start to make some shots. Yeah, exactly. Um, since since the referees kind of let the girls play a bit, it's it's more of a competitive game, more of an offensive friendly game. Okay. As we saw. Malaysia Dingle is in, number 12 for the boxers. With two minutes and 20 seconds to go. Shot is missed. Dingle, ah, but she loses it. She should have grabbed it. Oliver. Oh, oh stolen. Nice. Her pocket picked by Fernandez. She goes in strong, Ooh. lays it up, and no, and she just misses the shot. Just went off the rim. But a great defensive play by Fernandez as she picked Oliver's pocket. It was it was a nice it was a nice try. It was a nice attempt at an offensive layup, but just missed. It was it was good defense by the Indians on the on the other end. She possibly should have uh, held up, take some time off that clock, but the adrenaline was going. I can understand it. Sometimes you really oh up and down. Oh no, that that was an up and down. But they get away with it. Referee doesn't call, but Fernandez comes out of there with the defensive boards. Wow. 125 on the clock. Boxes up by four points. They need to uh, hold the ball up a little bit, use a little bit of that clock. Yes, they yes they really do. And I'll be shocked if they come away with a big a quick shot. They should not. Shot. Oh. Ooh. And it'll be a timeout with 107 on the clock. As we see here. Let's see. Whoa. Did, did, you, did, you, did yes. you see Elizabeth touch the ball? Yeah, I saw her touch the ball. Okay. Maybe uh, they got away with one there. The uh, boxes. I, it quickly, it looked like up and down. But when you see it in slow-mo, it looks like the um, uh, they, the, um, the lady boxes got her hand on it. And um, But, hey, that's. That makes up for uh, some of the calls early on in this game. Yeah, a minute and some change, and a little change. Man, it's gonna be, it's a, it's a bit of a wild ride. Let's see what Dartmouth, let's see what Dartmouth could answer. And yeah, they they've been doing a good job of answering all day. Let's see, not, let's yeah, see what not, they could do. Now, the last time the boxers had the ball, they did a good job running down the clock. They just couldn't execute the um the, the two layup. points. Yeah. 
but uh, let's see what they can do here with one minute and seven seconds left. They've got a two possession lead at the moment. It'll be Bach, Lady, excuse me, it'll be uh, Dartmouth's ball. Dartmouth has one timeout. Lady Boxers have three timeouts left. Yeah, it's, a, it's a two possession game, so that goes in the favor of the Lady Boxers a bit. Oh, they go for the quick three. Threes. Good. Oh, it's good. What a shot. Wow. Number 12. Ashlyn Sylvia makes the big shot down by one with 50 seconds to go. Long three is no good. Oh, oh stolen by Fernandez. She lays it up. Oh, misses. She missed it. And back come the Lady Indians. If you're the boxers, you cannot foul. No, they cannot foul. 25 seconds on the clock, 16 on the shot clock. Oliver, Ooh. no good. And they're going to call a foul on Williams. Ooh, there wow. was some contact. Her, her arm hit her and bumped her in the head. And that's, that's three shots at the free throw line with 19 seconds to go. Tough foul there by Williams. As we know, Dartmouth is real good, at, uh, excellent at the free throw line. Especially this player. Yes, Oliver. And she makes her first free throw attempt tie ball game. And makes her second free throw attempt. She makes it look awfully easy, easy there at the free throw line, Chris. Yeah, yeah also a confident player, very, yeah. very fast pace. And lane violation. Against the Indians. Against Dartmouth, yes. So tie, Indians up by one. With 19 seconds left, boxes, good timeout by Coach uh, Thatcher. With 19.7 on the clock. Yeah, Mor and Morgan Thatcher, she's been in this situation plenty of times. A few times this season and, and, and many times in her career. Yes. And also playing basketball probably for fun. But yeah, let's see what kind of play she devises up. 19.7 seconds. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be in the hands of Alexandra Williams, I would assume, and you just gotta you just gotta devise a, a clean play, a con a play that'll confuse Dart the Dartmouth defense a bit. So it's pretty it's pretty much the game right here. You gotta make it yeah. in the shot. And and I think you you need to put it into one of the Thatcher sisters' hands. Williams sisters. Wait, excuse me, Williams sisters, <laughs> to um. To, to, ha to have the good percentages on making the shot, either yeah. that or uh, Fernandez. Yeah, Elizabeth Williams is not a bad choice. Either is Fernandez either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, um, this 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 Southeastern Conference game was a was a thriller, home, Miles. Yeah, pretty good one. Now I'm surprised uh, Margaret didn't put in their their big center there. Uh, Tennis. Tennis. I don't know what kind of foul trouble he is. I don't, I don't believe she fouled out, but. Well, they got shooters, all shooters in there, but you're going to need somebody underneath just in case the shot don't go to get yes, that rebound. Yes, you need a rebounder, yes. So we'll see. Williams gets it up quickly. Oh. Throws it up and. Oh, oh, oh. in and out. Oh. It was there. And they're going to give it to Brockton. Oh, they're going to give it to Brockton. Oh. Hold me up. Hold me up. And the coach for Dartmouth says something to the ref, so the ref's going to come over and talk to um, his um, referee team. Let's see this replay, Miles. Yes. I'm not sure what they called. Well, well, yeah, jump ball. Jump ball. Angelina jump Fernandez. Ball. Angelina does. She fell for it. Yeah. Fernandez fell for it. Jump ball. Referee complained, but we just saw it on instant replay. That was a jump ball. So the referee is explaining to the coach, Coach Scott Richards, and timeout. Another chance for Brockton. Man, that layup. It was a, it was a great layup. A clean look. It just didn't fall in. 
It's been the story of the day for the boxes. Yes, it has. Some of their shots just haven't been falling in. Just, well, they got just out of luck a bit. Yeah, they got 12 seconds to put something together here and try to squeak out a win against this uh, six and one Dartmouth team. Brockton coming in here five and three. And while we have a moment, we just like to thank our uh, BCA sports team: Emma Ridden, Ridden, Kayla Costello, Harold Peterson, Caden on camera, Adam on camera, and Nick. Hal Cold, our uh, TV teacher, doing a great job down in the booth and on the cameras here at uh, Staff Gymnasium. Great team effort. And of course, um, the main man, the producer, Mike the Postman, Simmons. Again, delivering here. Another great show. Exciting show here at Staff Gymnasium. I'm Miles Jackson along with Chris Bazil. And 12.3 on the clock. Boxes have the ball with a um, jump ball possession. Boxes win with the possession. So let's see what if they can put something through and get and get a shot off and in. Inside. Williams off the oh. glass misses. You gotta shoot it. You gotta Fernandez shoot it. Throws it up. Montero. Oh. Oh. And Dartmouth calls a timeout. Wow. Oh. Brockton had their chances twice, and it just wouldn't fall. Great call by wow. Thatcher on the play to get the chance for the Lady Boxers to make the shot. They just couldn't put it in wow. the basket. With 3.4 on the clock, Dartmouth has the basketball. Oh. Tough one to swallow here for the Lady Boxers if this time expires and Dartmouth comes out of here on enemy turf wow. to get a win. On the rival's turf. And of course, with Brockton with the ball there, referees let him play. I mean, there were two attempts, and um, I, I'm not a complainer, but there was there was. No whistle or nothing, and I'm not saying I saw any fouls or anything, but I was too busy looking to see if the ball would go in the basket. Yeah, there were clean looks, and wow, just a bit. I, I know that second, wow. that first shot was definitely clean. I don't know about the second. It, it was a lot of bodies around, but unfortunately, boxes could not put the ball in. And, ooh. And they're gonna call a foul. Oh, that was a push by Alexandra Williams. And that was a frustration push by Williams. With 1.9 seconds on the clock. Uh, and I believe that must have been an intentional foul. Yeah, it was an intentional foul. So um, she must be gonna get two shots. And and um, Dartmouth will get the basketball back, I believe. Let's see. She makes her second free throw attempt. And they will get the ball back. Ooh. King gives the Lady Dartmouth team member a push. Wow. And as time expires, the boxers lose a heartbreaker. Wow. 50 to 48, you see it on your screen. Yeah, this is and, and, and Chris, it's a heartbreaker because Brockton really fought back hard here in the second half, overcome um, missed shots, calls by the refs, and, and just not making baskets. Yeah, they fought, they, they fought back hard. They had some unlucky baskets that now, bounced in right and out. Here. Let's see. Oh, they just—I guess they're just showing some instant replays. Yeah, here. They, yeah, they fall hard. They fall back hard. They had some lucky baskets that go in and out, and yeah. they had—they had a lot of whistles that go that, that went against them. That yeah. kind of yeah, that, it kind of it kind of assisted Dartmouth a bit. Yeah, to get back in the ball game, but unfortunately, the boxers could not just um, execute there at the very end of the game to um, pull one out of here against this. Um, Six and one Dartmouth team. Who are now seven and one. But still, good game. And uh, again, we'd like to thank everybody here at um, 
BCA Sports, the sports team, great job. And for um, myself and Brazil, everyone have a nice evening, folks. Good night.